The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, Cam Steve for Boatest.com, and today I'm on the Hatteras GT54, a boat designed to be an uncompromising sport fishing boat as well as a capable cruiser. So let's check out those cruising features as we do a full features walkthrough. We'll start our features walkthrough by looking at the cockpit, 138 square feet of open space with two in-deck fish boxes measuring almost 20 cubic feet each. The scuppers drain the cockpit from the sides and into aft quarter fenders outside the hull which eliminates the black streaks down your top sides. The cap rails are teak with no finish and have curved bull nose edges. Two flush mounted rod holders are to either side. Six additional rod holders are aft of the flying bridge. A tuna door is located to the starboard side of the transom. And of course we have mezzanine seating with a freezer underneath, insulated storage, storage area for six pack of soda, tackle storage, and accommodations for a sink. Now as I enter the main salon, the first thing I notice, the sliding pocket door has a lock so that it won't shut in a rolling sea. You release the mechanism and slide closed. And now look at these traditionally styled windows to both port and starboard with curved tops. In addition to the aft windows, the side windows are stylishly sculptured into the side of the boat. Climate control is handled by vents above the valances so the whole room cools down evenly instead of having one vent sitting next to a person at the couch who freezes while everyone else is hot. To the port quarter, there's an L-shaped sofa with storage underneath, and there's a traditional coffee table. Let's take a look at the galley. Now, Hatteras has done a very interesting thing, and they've taken what is normally a dead-end alley and made a very functional island with convenient glass storage, storage to the other side, and a granite countertop. And I can't help but notice metal tracks and dovetail joinery. There are four refrigerated drawers that you can have in any combination of refrigerator or freezer. Four feet, four inches of counter space combined with two feet, four inches of counter space with a single basin stainless steel sink, pull out sprayer with a metal hose that won't kink, a four burner electric stove. Now here's a feature I've never seen before. Deep drawers in the backsplash, two feet, three inches by one foot, three inches. Just above, the same theme continues with pull-out drawers, two in this compartment, and a very large convection microwave oven. To the starboard side, an L-shaped settee with storage underneath, and notice you have clear sight lines to the horizon from the seated position. Now here's a nod to some old school styling. Single piece whisper wall with African mahogany battens, satin finish, and that design style continues throughout the salon. To the starboard side, 37 inch flat screen TV and the ship's electrical panel. Now let's head forward and take a look at the accommodations. We'll start by taking a look at the master. Well the first thing I notice in the master stateroom, the same treatments that we had in the overhead salon continue with the African mahogany, satin finish, all the way around the headboard and the sides and then look at this, I've got three, six, nine drawers as well as cedar line storage under the berth. There's overhead cabinet space, a cedar closet with full length mirror on the back, the master head. The master head is beautifully finished with more of the satin finished African mahogany, granite countertops, antique and holly sole. Naturally there's a walk-in shower. Across the companionway to the starboard side is a stateroom with headroom going from six feet five inches to seven feet one inches and Hatteras has cleverly fitted a full-length bunk underneath the companionway stairs. Just up above, three large cabinets, and this can be swapped out for either a fixed berth or a Pullman berth. As we come out of the starboard stateroom, we've got the shared head, which also doubles as a day head, and fully forward, the VIP stateroom. Let's take a look. Now, the owner of this boat had Hatteras keep a wide open feel, but you can opt for getting cabinets above that take advantage of the Carolina flare. Behind the door, we have accommodations for a stacked washer and dryer. And underneath the berth again, we have storage, but look at how deep. This is a great place for everybody to put their sea bags. As we make our way to the bow, notice the powder coated grab handle. As you move forward, there's a channel to hold on to, but it ends right here. I'd like to see the addition of a white powder coated rail here, and possibly even a black one running down here. 
Here we have a wide open four deck measuring 17 feet by 12 feet. If you desire, you can put a 12 foot tender here. A davit will go over on this side that will take up a little bit of space in the closet in the VIP stateroom. Additionally, there's no bow rail, but if you desire, one can be installed. The entire combing is set up for a bow rail support. And here's another nod to the old school. Notice how the flying bridge looks like it's a separate bolted on piece, but it's actually one continually molded piece. Well, that's my look at the GT54 from Hatteras. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.